box eight, medium flat rate box of, I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay, 344 pounds. This is one box. I hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Full time reseller. All right, let's get started. I have sorted it into wearable, uh, sellable crafters. And I'm going to show you guys exactly what I mean and tell you what I mean. Um, this is box eight. So I'm guessing if you've watched some of my other videos, you know what I mean. But if not, basically the items that I'm going to sell are items that I'm going to list in small lots, which I think is this bag. And the items that are crafters items, which is this bag, are items that um, are broken or completely tangled and I don't want to mess with it. And I will lock these up with another bag from another box. And I'll probably sell them in five to eight pound bags. This here is mismatch earrings, which, do you see this Disney Mickey Mouse? I found it and I kept it to the side because I was super excited about this little earring. I really wanted to find it. And I think there's a fish in here too that I also found, but I threw it in with the earrings. I'll sort them later. But this little Disney um, ah, Mickey Mouse earring, I thought it was adorable and I wanna sell it separate. So I'm gonna put this with the mismatch earrings in another day when I have lots of patience and I'm finished sorting through all of the earrings, I am going to sort through the earrings again and try to figure out um, what, like the matches, because I know there's matches. I've seen them in other boxes, but there's just so much to still go through. I, I went through eight, I think eight boxes in the last two days. So this is the stuff I'm planning on selling. I'm definitely selling this abalone uh, bracelet. Let me uh, get it out of the bag and show you guys. It's beautiful. I love it. It's so pretty. I, I think somebody made it probably, but it's really nice. And then I think these are hand-blown glass earrings that I'm also going to sell separate. Really, really cute. Um, I started this series because I wanted to expand my YouTube channel um, other than just items to be on the lookout for. And I kind of wanted to get into jewelry and learn. And so I kind of lucked out and found somebody who was going to sell their jewelry on eBay and decided that they didn't want to anymore. So I bought everything. And if you watch those original videos where I pick it up and when I weigh it, I tell you the whole story. So these are the items I was thinking about selling individually. I kind of thought this was a neat piece. I might still do this one. I like the um, statement pieces like this. I mean, it's, it's just plastic. It's nothing fancy. I don't know. I may or may not. Uh, I think that one was Oh yeah, it's got a little tag. I wanna say it's like Chico's, yeah, Chico's. So I may sell that one. I, I need to list some of it individually and just try to try to make myself do it. I am gonna sell this individually because I think it's really funky and cool. It's a bangle and I think you wear it up on your arm. It's a snake, I think it's vintage and it's just really neat. So I am gonna sell that separate. Here's another snake bracelet. I'm definitely gonna sell that separate. This piece I wanna look up, it's got, um, it says Paris, and I can't read, L Leah Stein, I think. So I wanna look that piece up. I was thinking about selling this separately. It's a little Minnie Mouse pendant. I think it's kinda cute. Uh, I was gonna do this separate and this, and these pearls, I don't know if they're real or not. Um, they're knotted in between, but I'm just a wimp at about putting things in my mouth. I don't know if that's a vintage clasp or not. So I think I'm just gonna, this is, I thought this was cute with a little elephant. I thought this was really pretty. 
I may still try to do this separate, but it does have, it does have some tarnish, but I think it just gives it character. I don't know. Same with this. Like I could sell it separate, but I could also just sell it to, these are, I think of those things that are like paper that is like rolled. I think I'm just going to put these in the lot of, this is kind of neat lot of items and let somebody else make some money too so I don't know what this is so this is this is kind of cute again I thought I could sell it it's meant to look like a collar I kind of like these necklaces I'm gonna call it like a collar necklace huh? <gasps> I think they're fun. So you wear it over your shirt and it looks like a collar. I don't know why I think it's so fun. I guess I don't really need to list it. <laughs> um, yeah, some of this stuff I was gonna lot. I don't know what this is. Maybe some type of charm. I might have my husband look at that. I was gonna list this separately. but I'm not. Okay, a lot of these are that Aiden, Alex and Ani. I'm gonna throw these over with the Alex and Ani necklaces. I have a whole bunch of them. This I was thought was kind of neat, this yellow. And this, but I was gonna make like a small lot of bracelets, but I'm just gonna let somebody else do it. Here's a little ring. So again, these items I was going to build small lots out of, but I'm just going to throw it in. This is Coach. Um, I don't really feel like cleaning it up, so I'm just going to throw it in. Here are a bunch of earrings, and these have matches. I'm going to go through these another time. Uh, okay, so here are the wearables that I was gonna sell in a, a lot. And I'm gonna add all of this stuff that I was gonna sell separately or in small lots. I'm just gonna add it to this and I'm gonna let somebody else do the work and make the money. This necklace is definitely wearable. All of this is wearable. I've pulled out all of the crafters items. This is one of those little slide bracelets, super cute. These are like dyed stones because it's cold. This is one of those wrap bracelets. It's a pretty nice one actually. Uh, like a bulky bracelet. I'm gonna put, I'll just leave it in. It's a watch, it's not anything special. So, I like this blue color, it's so pretty. I'm not sure, I'm guessing those probably are not real pearls. But I did not check anything. This is a necklace. It says $52, but it seems really cheap to me. No offense to whoever made it. There's a watch. I'm going to pull these watches out because I have a, a lot of watches. I wasn't going to pull that one out, but I think I am. I'm just going to sell the watches separate. There's a bracelet. Bracelet. There's another bracelet. Bracelet. So it's just a bunch of jewelry. And it can be listed. There's a pair of earrings. I mean, it's a big bag. And I'm probably like tangling it as I as I go. As I show you guys, it's probably not good. Somebody else is gonna have to untangle it. 540. Kohl's. It was originally 18. It says sexy. Here's another necklace. Um, earring. Some bracelets. Some necklaces. Some earrings. Just tons and tons of stuff. And 
and I think I said this in this video, but I'm not 100% sure. The gal I brought it from, she did go through all of this, so I knew that I wasn't probably going to find gold and silver. I found a few things that are silver, but I have not tested them. So, um, we shall see when I test them. I'm hoping to do that on a video. This is kind of cute. It's got the little flower. And there's a few more things in the bag. And whoever buys this can either wear it, sell it, lot it up in small lots, keep what they want, donate it, whatever they want to do with it. But uh, this is box eight, guys. So this big pile is going to be thrown into a bag, and I'm going to ship it in a medium flat rate box to whoever buys it. It will cost me, I can't remember if flat rate's like 15, but with the shipping discount, maybe $12. So again, these are all mismatched earrings. I'm hoping to find that little Hello Kitty there, but I'm super excited I found that Mickey Mouse. And then these are the items I'm gonna list separate, which I, I mean, I don't think there's anything there that's big money. I wish this was in better condition because it's really, really tarnished, but it's really, really cute. So, all right, guys, that's box eight. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Be sure to hit that thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And you know what? I just remembered I have an outro that's going to tell you the same thing. Oh, well, see you soon. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.